all the way back to the earliest civilizations and was needed for the good of the group. The earliest record of policing goes all the way back to around 1340 BC during the reign of the pharaoh Hermelid. The word police comes from the Greek word politeria, which was a part of the Greek government. The politeria dealt with number one, keeping order and peace. Number two, protecting life and liberty. And finally, number three, prevention of crime. Romans also had a form of policing during the reign of Augustus Caesar. They dealt with mostly order and security. The Romans police were special staff with different ranks of officers. They were divided up into seven divisions with 14 districts, a system we still use today. The American law enforcement concepts originated in England around 980. The early English officer's form of justice was just getting revenge for victims of foul play and or their families. There was yet another form of early policing after the Norman Conquest in 1066 AD. After the conquest, King William made a new form of policing called the Frank Plague System. In the Frank Plague System, every man over the age of 12 years old required to form a group of 10 families. These groups were called tithings. In larger and more populated areas, a group of 10 tithings are grouped together to form a group of 100 men called a shire. The top law enforcement official in a shire was the Shire Reeve. The Shire Reeve was the beginning of the modern day sheriff. They were often voted in by a constable. Constables were the local level of law enforcement that helped the Shire Reeve organize plans to catch criminals. The Statue of Winchester passed in 1285, this making the night watch system of protection. One man from each district would be made into a constable. The constable would then select citizens from their district to guard the city at night. However, these watchmen were not paid, and frankly, nine out of ten times were found not at their post. The Shire Reeve made the office of the Justice of Peace. The Justice of Police watched over a variety of law enforcement activities, including organizing the night watch, investigating crimes, and preparing criminals for trial. This system lasted well into the 1700s. Okay, two things to keep in mind about this system is that the citizens were the police and all law enforcement was local. These ideas were borrowed by the early American colonists. Okay. Finally, permission was granted to the district in 1735 to pay their watchmen through taxes. This, of course, encouraged the watchmen to actually do their jobs. In 1748, a London magistrate created a group of law enforcement agents that would track down stolen property and capture criminals. This group is called the Bow Street Runners, and the man that created this group was named Henry Fielding. This group was the best law enforcement group of its time. The Bow Street Runners set an example for a more serious approach on law enforcement. This more serious group of law enforcement officers was needed in London due to crowded cities because of industrialization. There was a huge crime increase in 1829 due to the overpopulated cities. Seeing the crime increase, Sir Robert Pill and the English Parliament made a new police force with the London Metropolitan Police Act. This act created a new uniformed police force that got the nickname Bobbies or Peelers. Peelers, of course, coming from Sir Robert Peel's heavy influence in creating the group. Robert Peel even developed Peel's 12 policies of policing, where his main focus was to prevent crime without force. Number one, the police must be stable, efficient, and organized along military lines. Number two, the police must be under government control. Number three, the absence of crime will best prove the efficiency of the police. Number four, the distribution of crime news is essential. Number five, the deployment of police strength by both time and area is essential. Okay. No quality is more <laughs> indispensable to a police officer than a perfect command of temper. A quiet, determined manner has more of an effect than a violent action. Number seven, a good appearance commands respect. Just the fully. securing and training of proper persons is the route to efficiency. Number nine, public security demands that every police officer be given a number. Police headquarters should be centrally located and easily accessible for the people. Number 11. Policemen should be hired on a probationary basis. Yeah. Police records are necessary to correct the distribution of police strength. Just about every community in the U.S. has their own police force, meaning that the U.S. has more police departments than any other nation in the world. As mentioned before, the early American colonists brought over the night watch system, which didn't work too well against crime in the cities. 
they mostly just used the sheriff and posy system for rural areas. It wasn't until 1844 that New York made their first official paid police force. Other cities followed their example and made their own police departments. It still wasn't until after the Civil War that police officers in the U.S. started to wear uniforms and carry nightsticks. The development of law enforcement was broken down into four eras. The political era, the professional era, the reform era, and the community era. The political era was a time where political leaders had complete control over the police force. This made most political and police forces in the U.S. corrupt. This was a time in American history where the government and the justice system only worked for the people that paid the right people the right amount of money. 1840 and lasted until around the 1920s. This is when the spoil system was introduced. The spoil system was powerful, but they were corrupted, untrained, and unsupervised, and frequently were abusive to the public, the people that they were supposed to serve and protect. The only crime prevention and order control was through foot patrol. It wasn't until the late 19th century that there were requirements that had to be met to be a police officer. Up until then, literally anyone could do the job. Cincinnati was the first to actually try and get a more professional police group. However, even then, their only requirements were a fast running speed and a good personality. This was the beginning of what is now known as the professional era. It still wasn't until the early 20th century that August Bomber, the police chief in Berkeley, California, created the School of Criminology in the University of Berkeley. This became the representation for many other criminal justice universities throughout the U.S. Volmer believed that to have a professional police force, you had to practice his six essential elements. Number one, the department should stay out of politics. Number two, the officers should be well-trained, disciplined, and organized. Number three, laws should be equally enforced. Number four, the police should stay up to date. Number five, merits should be used frequently, which are pretty much just tickets. Number six, the police force should be prominent in their area. O.W. Wilson was another big part of the professional era when he suggested that they use motorized vehicles and radios to communicate efficiently and fast. So in the 1970s, the police forces moved away from the crime-fighting aspect and more towards serving the community. This is what became known as the community era. Now after the year 2000 comes the fifth era called the new era. Many experts say that the new era focused on terrorism. The era we live in now is known for its serious stand against terrorism in the U.S. and the great measures the police department goes to to, a, to prevent local attacks at events. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Earliest record. Why can't I say the That's too tall. I'm gonna get a chair that you can't move. That's too tall. Look how high up she is now. So is that pledge or pledge? It's supposed to be pledge. Oh, I know, I just like it. One man from each district. Stop it! Pu <laughs> public. Public. <laughs> you spit so hard the crowd could feel you through the video. Okay, go. Go. That wasn't go. Even okay, go! The Shire Reef made the Office of Justice of Peace. That sounded like peas. Okay. 